hell? What's going on? I'm actually focused more on those falls right there than on me. I'm at State Game Lands number 159, and that is Tanner's Falls. Tanner's Falls, it's popped up on my radar quite a few times. It's not far from Prompton State Park, which is really close to my house, about a half hour away. And I saw it pop up on an article this weekend from, I believe it's um, Uncovering PA is the website. And I figured it's nearby and I got the time and I might as well come out and check it out. The trees are giving us a show this year. This is the most color we've had in quite a while, quite a few years. So I'm trying to get out, even though it's a little bit overcast today, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be sunny, but that sky is... <laughs> that's it. I mean, it's that's about. Let's see, right there is about how bright it is right now. It's not very bright out at all. So the sun would really make these colors pop, but I'm enjoying them while I can. So I've already obviously I've already hiked down here. Um, I'll show you the hike back up, and we'll go up here to these rocks and we'll check that out. So aside from the falls. There are all these old foundations back here. And I'm not sure what was here, but that creek is the Dieberry Creek. And I mean, there's a, there was a lot of something here. If I can find out what it was, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. But these are old, 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 old foundations and they just keep going all the way back, they're way back there. Um, this one right here, that is like the end of them. The creek wraps around there. But even up here where we start climbing up, there's, there's foundations there. So here we're at the base of the climb up. And uh, see if I can brighten that up a little bit. There you go, that's a little better. So I'm gonna guess this is maybe a mill. Maybe with the falls there, it'd be a good place to have a, a mill, maybe a lumber mill, or could even have been a tannery. You can see this is all terraced. All terraced up and the road is up there. It's about 60 feet up. And there's an old wooden bridge that is closed off. Got gated off up here. But look at this climb. I mean, it's it's not horrible. I've climbed a lot worse. But it's uh, it rained last night. Got a lot of leaves down. And this rock is, as you can see, is well-worn and slick. Oh, you can see that. So it's well-worn and slick. So, took my time coming down it since I'm out here by myself and I will take my time going up it. Just checking my footing. Everywhere I put, oh, the sun's starting to come out. So everywhere I put my foot like that, that's real slick. That was about the trickiest spot. That little rock right there is your best spot to put your foot. And I'm not sure how well it's anchored in there. So I made quick work of that. Now we're back up to the top here. Well, at least the top of the rocks. It's a little bit climbing to get up to the road. We get a little bit of sun. And look at those colors pop because of it. Some blue sky over there. Not too bad for just out kicking around and exploring. Trail comes up right there. 
it was a lot easier coming up than going down. Missed that little bridge. From what I read, up until a few years ago, you could still cross this. You couldn't drive across it, but you could walk across it. And they have since closed off, but obviously people go out there. I'm not going to. There's a, a sign of the season right there. Apples. So I'm not sure where this road used to go, but people used to drive across that. But yeah, I actually parked right up past here, about 500 feet up the road. There's a sign that says road closed next uh, in 500 feet. And I wasn't sure if they may be down here or what the parking situation was like. So there's a lot there. And uh, 500 feet isn't that far for me to walk. So I figured I'd just walk down. A little look at Tanner's Falls. Pretty cool little spot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next.